Okay, I'm going to be reviewing the Thieve uh, Keycard Skate Tool. It's about $15 uh, anywhere you want to buy it, and it comes with a leather case and the skate tool itself. Um, the skate tool is made out of titanium, the case is made out of real leather, it's not vinyl or anything. The case is pretty nice, the tool is like manufactured pretty nicely, it just does not work as uh, a skate tool. So. Let's get it out of here. Let's get it out of the case. Alright, this is the tool itself. Um, it's made out of 6-4 titanium, I guess. I think that's probably the ratio to other alloys. I don't think it's 100% titanium. Um, it has the cool little Bandit logo cut out, into it, like cut out of it. It has a bottle opener. It has all three of the wrench sizes you need to work on your skateboard. It has a hole for uh, putting on a keychain. The only thing is, it does not work that well. Um, the, it fits in all the nuts. The, it's not a problem. It's not. It's really durable. It's not going to bend. It's made of titanium. It's really strong. The thing is, it's super thin, so using it is really painful. Um, I don't even have that soft of hands, and it. I just could barely even stand to use it to loosen my uh, kingpin on my trucks. Um, it has all these protrusions, so even if you want to just use it to tighten or loosen your mounting hardware, you have to hold on to that end, which is pretty awful. And even just using it to tighten the kingpin, even just holding on to this end is terrible. Even just the edges dig into you, so I had to wrap it in a shirt to even use it, really. Um, the only really bonus I could see to having this is that it uh, fits in your pocket. And the tool itself will fit in a wallet, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because it'll probably rip it up. And it won't fit, uh, the case won't fit in the wallet, so you can't put it in the case and then put the case in the wallet. So uh, it doesn't really fit in the wallet that well. Um, it could fit in your pocket. It's really light. You could keep it in like the glove box of your car or in a backpack. And if you absolutely needed to tighten something, I guess you could probably do it. Uh, it's not worth fifteen dollars. Uh, I wouldn't pay fifteen dollars for this. I got it for free with some trucks. And uh, for fifteen dollars, you could buy just about any skate tool on the market. And just about any skate tool on the market is going to be better than this, like for usability and stuff. So I'm going to have to say pass on this one, unless you're getting it for free, which if you get it for free, then at least it looks cool. So, uh, that's the end of this review.